when they sent it to me, um, Kendrick Lamar wasn't on. I didn't hear the version with him on there. And then uh, the day before it came out, I got word that he was on it. Then when I heard it, then he dissed Drake too. So it just, it just went crazy okay. after that. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is BET Talks. I'm here at BET Experience. I'm here with some brothers that represent the culture, man. How y'all feeling today? Feeling real good. Feeling real good. Absolutely, man. What does it mean to be here at the Experience, going, attending another award show? How does that feel to you guys? Oh, it's great, man. Whenever you can come out and represent hip hop like this and, and R&B, everything, man. So it's great. Absolutely, man. For the people that don't know, you know you're an OG in the game. Speak to kind of what you do in the game, man. Well, I had a big song, Everlasting Bass, in the 80s, man. And then, uh, you know, Metro did it with, uh, you know, Kendrick with the Like That record. So yeah. it's been a whirlwind, man, these last three months. Nah, for sure. Now, now speak to that, man, how that record came about and everything. Um, they had did it. I had heard about it. When they sent it to me, um, Kendrick Lamar wasn't on. I didn't hear the version with him on there. And then uh, the day before it came out, I got word that he was on it. Then when I heard it, then he dissed Drake, too. So it just, it just went crazy after that, man. So it's, it's just funny how it's bigger now than it was when it came out in 88. It's a big record, man. It's a big record. So like, it's, it's just show, it's supposed to, it speaks to his knowledge too of hip hop for him to come back to you, go yeah. back to that lineage and pay homage, man. So I know that meant a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. I think he had an uncle or something that was from Memphis, and and our record killed in Memphis, and you know the culture, a lot of dances was made to that record. So hey, man, can't be mad about it. It's no secret what, what you're doing. You're doing big things out here. You know, saying with the Wild and Out crew, but you also got some new stuff that you're pushing as well. So kind of speak to some of the new things you're working on. Yeah, so obviously, you know, there's the Wild and Out thing. Uh, it's still going strong. Uh, and we got a tour that's getting ready to launch soon yeah. in uh, Africa and the, around the United States and yeah. about to go into our 22nd season pretty soon. Come on now. Uh, okay. But yeah, I got a little, little new single out right now. It's called How We Roll. And, uh, you know, I'm out here just promoting it. And, uh, you know, I just feel good being being uh, a part of the culture, you know what I'm saying? For sure, and like mm -hmm. I said, man, it's culture's biggest night, so I wanna get you guys to kinda explain why you feel like this is culture's biggest night. This whole culture is created by us, mm. you know, and uh, this is my big bro, Rodney O, you know what I mean? And, and being included in this, that's, it's a big deal for me, you know? Um, I mean, back in 88, I was rocking to Everlasting Bass. I was, you know, in high school, and, and it was, probably one of the biggest songs on the West Coast. And for it to come full circle and be the song that it is and to be as close to it as I am, you know, I just, I, I can only be grateful. Thanks, t Rex. Thank you, bro. You, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, man, we, we love to give people their flowers when they stay yeah, here, man. Yeah, so hey, make, make, sure hey. we, make sure you accept those, Yeah, man. I hear that. Absolutely, no, That's man. real, Absolutely, that's real. Man. Now, for sure. Now, for me, growing up, watching the war show, I was like, man, I want to be here one day in in this space. So just speak to a moment, you know what I'm saying, when you guys watch the show, it just kind of always stuck with you and just kind of made you just want to continue to be a part of this this journey. Man, just all of them, especially in the beginning, man. I mean, just just all, all the groups that was that came through and blessed the stage, you know, all the different hosts, man. I mean, come on, it's BT, it's us. Yeah. yeah. It's us. Nah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You know, with New Edition and and just all the all the groups, man. He's just you just wanted to be a part of it. From watching it on TV to actually being in the audience to even being on the stage and the journey to how it even you even get there yeah. is pretty dope, you know. Uh, it's a full circle moment. Yeah, it is. It's a full it circle is. moment, man. It is culture biggest night. It's a lot of it war is. shows, you know, they, they use the culture when it's convenient. For us right. it's twenty four seven. Right. Right, um, exactly. We live this. Yeah, you know, we live every it day. Yeah, every, every day, day so, bro. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Appreciate yes, you, bro. Right on, right on.